Time for Mr. Truck, reviewing the latest innovations for your truck and trailer. Finally, here it is, the Bronco Pictures, real live pictures. Yes, indeed. Get your popcorn, get your favorite beverage, lean back, and have fun. Look at this puppy. It is, we've waited for the whole thing. You know, we've seen bits and pieces and sometimes some uh, footage released, but this is it. You get to see what it looks like in a two-door model, a four-door model, and that sport. Sport kind of surprised me. It snuck up on me. But, yeah, I love it when Heritage shows a big resemblance to the original model like this has been out of you know hasn't been built for many years it came out in 66 and i really like that square body they had back then that's kind of how all the vehicles were back then for off-road and now it's back and it's cool to watch this climb rocks look at those big 35 inch tires that seems to be the most popular tire size that everybody puts on vehicles that they're going to put lift kits on and do that big rock climbing thing and that's what's cool about this is, you know, this is one of those off-road machines that you can go rock climbing, desert jumping, do all that fun stuff in. And I love to watch this two-door bounce all over the place. That's like me and a lot of my ATVs and my side-by-sides. And that's really what this is, just a big side-by-side. -side. It's a convertible. You can take the doors off. You can do all this cool stuff. 10-speed automatic or a 7-speed manual. With a crawl gear like we used to have on the farm, we fed cattle, you put it in crawl gear, the granny gear we used to call it, climbed back on the back of the truck, started throwing hay off of it. So it was cool and fun, and this, you know, a lot of people love that manual transmission, and this might be one of the few Fords you can get it in. So, cool. Love the grill on this. It's a sharp looking truck, and there you got some steel wheels, which is what the off-roaders use, so you don't, if you bang it on a rock, you just take the hammer and fix it, you don't have to replace it. But... They got a lot of cool colors and a lot of different contrast here. It's uh, it's they did a good job of making it all fit, and it's uh, it's it's the real McCoy. You can get the looks like the the look alike bead lockers, or you can get the real bead lockers like on the Raptor. Of course, you can't use those on the highway legally. But yeah, there it is, like the Desert Runner, just like a Raptor. It's cousin, and we may see a Raptor in a Bronco. Who knows? But yeah, look at that thing flying and jumping. And that's, uh, that's cool. You want that uh, good wheel travel there when you're doing that desert run. And that's really popular, whether it's a you know Polaris Razor or what it is. Of course, the rock crawling is what I like to do with my side-by-sides. And I bought an old Jeep, and so I'm fixing it up. So I'm learning all about this stuff, and it is fun. And that's what you want. You want some good clearance. You want some good protection underneath when you're climbing on those rocks so you don't break anything. It's got all the skid plates. But it's so cool. It's got everything. It's got the disconnecting front end sway bar. It's got the front and rear lockers. And two, when you turn in corners, there's a button you'll see that on the dash pretty soon. You can push that. It's like a land cruiser. It'll actually help you turn corners by breaking one of the back tires, whatever, to the inside of where you're turning. But it is so awesome. But yeah, just I did that with the Raptor, went out desert running, and jumped all over everything. It looks cool. Oh, this here looks like they took this picture up on Mars, I think. It's got those rounding river rocks to climb it over. And those are the easy ones to climb over. They're nice and rounding. But look at that puppy go. And, you know, that's what the, the dimensions are like on this is, you know, it's a, you get a two-door, you can go anywhere. And a four-door, it takes a little more room. Of course, they're a little softer ride and a little better for trailers. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a machine we've been waiting for for a long time. You're going to see, you know, it's finally have really good competition in the off-roading class. There's the colors of them. But it is just a cool-looking machine. I think the one with the orange has got the best-looking grill. But they do have different grills on them and different color combinations. There's the whole family. I don't think those are the Rocky Mountains. Those look like somewhere in Montana. But anyway, yeah, so did you get the popcorn? <laughs> this is kind of a long video. And I've got not much choice. I didn't get the video really in advance. Oh, look at the interior. I love the interior. There's that shifter, seven speed with that that crawl gear, my old granny gear. But look at the, the, the beautiful combination of colors, the brown, the red, the black. This is uh, my favorite kind of an interior look to it. 
And they've copied a lot of stuff that the Wrangler's done. Wrangler's got some outstanding colors with red in it. And so, you know, you can tell it's a very competitive class. And even the ponies change. It's got a little different look to the hooves and the tail. Like the tail went down last time. Yep, seven gears and a seven-speed manual. It shows six because that first is a crawl gear, granny gear. Of course, all the modern features. That's what's cool about this new stuff. It's called the modern safety features and all the cool things. Oh, look at the handles. And this is what you see like on a Razor Raptor, you know, from a Razor from uh, Polaris. Little hand grabs all over the place so the passengers can hang on, not get too nervous. And old men like me can jump up in there. I got 33 inches on my uh, my Jeep, and I have to climb and jump and everything else to get in there. But that's what you need, good grab handles. There's the bull bar with the good light bar on it. Yeah, there's my favorite grill. Oh, it's a convertible. I love it when the tops come off. And then you got the doors off. You got, you know, this is what's fun about off-road. You don't be all climbed up, you know, unless it's really hot. If you're desert running, it might be nice to have the doors on and the air conditioner on. But most of the time, man, that fresh air is what we do here in Colorado. Get up there where it's cool. In the Rockies. But, yeah, this Bronco, this is going to make a big splash. People waited for this a long time, and, and Ford loves to tease us. It takes forever to get the facts all out. But, it's you know, it's got the modern grill, grill the modern screens. So you can watch things. I hope it's got a front camera. Someday we'll get a drive of these, and I'll know more about them. But, yeah, look at the open air, man. And, two, one of these pictures, you'll see it. You can take the, the roof off and the doors off, put them in these little nylon pouches or whatever, vinyl pouches and store them behind the back seat and see there this one here's got seat belts four five you got three in the back you got a you know a shifter on the automatic even so you can manually shift the automatic but uh yeah yep it just a big cool side by side they call a bronco but you know they're really connecting there's the, the on the dash it is so cool it shows all the things you can do front locker rear locker disconnect this way and use that brake on that rear tire whichever way your inside is a lot of this looks real similar to the 150 and of course it's got all the crawl modes and all those different modes you put in there it's got the same kind of crawl mode thing that the uh, raptor and the ranger has but look at all those modes you can get crazy on there yeah there shows the mars rock but, and it's the right size. These are look a little bit wider than the original Bronco. I've had a Bronco too, and we'll show some pictures here of the history. Now here's the cutaway door. I guess if you're getting too close to the edge of the ravine, you can kind of check it out. Or if that coyote's chasing you and he gets too close, you can kind of look at him. But, awesome tow hooks. It's such a color-coordinated vehicle. Those halogen round lights. And then you see the hooks up on the corners of the hood. That's for tying your canoe on or whatever. Jeep has something similar right in the middle of the hood. These are off to the corners of the hood. And there's that roll cage with the speakers in it. But yeah, yeah, this is uh, it's going to be interesting to see these on the trail. We go out on the trail, you know, every summer and sometimes in the winter. But look at those beefy tires, 35s. Yes. I wonder if that Bronco customer, like on a Toyota Tacoma, if they punch the name on the tailgate and make it a different color, they charge it. But anyway, yeah, you can do those handhelds. You can do those handstands back there if you're an Olympic champion. But even the taillights look pretty awesome. Yes, everybody's doing overlanding. There's that rail on the dash. I wish my truck had this. You can put your GoPros, your phone charger, everything up on that rail. That would be so cool. I'd like to have several, like, three cameras on that rail on my truck or the trucks that I use. Very usable stuff they're putting on this. And, of course, it's like going to be like the Jeep. You're going to be able to buy a 100 different things for it. They're going to really hit the aftermarket and be pushing you to buy a lot of cool stuff, which is what everybody does. When you go off-road, you know, you start off with whatever you're using, and you add to it, whether it's tires or fender flares or all the different things with bikini tops, all that stuff. You know, you just keep adding and adding and adding. So you're going to spend all There's those vinyl boots that they put the doors and the roof in. And then you can keep them out of the way. That way you can take them with you. In case it rains, you put them all back on, which is nice. Yeah, that little pony, he shows up all over the place. But, yeah, if you look at that, look at the old Bronco pony, you'll see the differences in them. This is a grill. I'm getting, you'll have to get used to this one. I like that other one better if it's the smaller holes. But we're all going to have our differences on what we like about the Bronco. But, yeah, it is cool. But... The sport's more of a civilized Bronco, even though it's very off-road capable. And when you get done watching all this, they uh, 
we're going to have more of the stats listed on mrtruck.com. I'll load that up tonight. So you want to go to that for everything else. And on this video, because I should have told you earlier, you know, it, you can play it in whatever resolution you want. You hit that little round bar on the bottom of the video. You can go up to 720 of DPI, which is what I'm going to watch this in. But the Bronco Sport, and I don't know if that's going to replace the Escape or what's the future plans. I guess I should find that out. But, yeah, it's kind of weird having this visual, you know, reveal. You know, I'm not touching it. I'm not in the same room. I'm not driving it all over the place like I like to do. So that'll all come later. But without that, I can't ask a lot of questions yet. But I will. I'll write all this stuff down. We'll find out. But if you look at all the stats on this Sport, it's, it's pretty capable. It can rock climb, and it can, you know, do all that stuff. You may not be able to get over the biggest rock as you can with the Bronco, but, you know, it's made for the people who want to go out and get that adventure, kind of that Subaru market, I think, is what they're targeting. But who knows? But you can do a lot of stuff with it with tents on the roof, and it's got a lot of really cool things in there besides that uh, dual-clutch-type transmission. But, uh, of course, it's a 10-speed. I didn't see a manual offering on it, but, you know, they know their demographic, and, it, you know, it's made to stick bicycles in the back and clamp them all down it's got a lot of little cool features it's uh, you'll want to see all the different specs they have on them what kinds of places to hang stuff and uh, the handles on the back they're made to you know, the stuff drop stuff down but even too in the back of the seats which I'll show you here in a little bit they've got little zippers on them kind of reminds me of the King Ranch on the pickup so you got a lot of utility here and then they've got places on the back of the seats, too. They're like your backpack. They've got those little slots that you can keep hanging stuff on, like you do on your, your four-wheelers, your ATVs, and your backpacks. I've always wondered about these tents. Now, if you have that ladder down there, do bears know how to climb that ladder? How does that work? It looks like it supports half of the bat, half of the tent. I've been in one, but I always wonder about bears because I'm you know, up here in Colorado. And if you're in a big... Uh, Aspen Grove, you always think they're close by. But look at that. And there's something about these bottle openers. What is it with Ford and bottle openers? They did this on the Ford F-150 Explorer. They thought they're the, the not the Explorer, the F-150 Hybrid. They put these bottle openers on the tailgate. And this has a bottle opener. I mean, I haven't used a bottle opener in 10 years. But I guess someplace Ford thinks somebody uses them. I don't know. But anyway, a little tray in the back. Yeah, it's it's got some nifty little features and a bunch of little things that you got to look at. Of course, it's got the tow hooks on it. And it's, you know, it's a family-related grill. You know, it's a Bronco, part of the Bronco family. But, uh, yeah, you got good, good, good place to camp right next to the Mosquito Swamp. But anyway, <laughs> it's good pictures. Yes, we love getting out in the wilderness. And that's what everybody's doing. They're this overlanding thing is taking over. So you get one of these, get your tent, and go overlanding. But, uh, yeah, you can do that with the whole Bronco family. But it's cool. I'm so glad it is out and that we get a look at it. And I'll be so excited when I get to drive it. That'll make me the happiest. I've got to find out what the tow rating on all these are. It's usually not really high. And I'd rather, you know, I like towing with four-door things, not the two-door. They're not, there's just don't seem to be made for trailers, the two-door options on any of these, like on the Bronco or the Wrangler or anything. But... We'll see what size of the traders you can pull. And, of course, I'll be pulling traders with it and get my hands on these. Kelsey's looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. So it should be a big deal to see how fast and furious these things get sold. I think you can put a $100 deposit on it now and buy it. Of course, they're going to have uh, you know, a big show on all these other networks. Uh, and Disney's doing a special thing with them. And everybody's doing something special with them. So I'm just giving you tons of footage because that's what I've got so far. And then go to the website and check out everything else. And you'll be doing so good. So, so good. But, yeah, I like the colors. like the colors on this puppy. This may be a lot of footage to look at, but you can see what you want. Go back and look at it more later. I know it's a long video. I think we're getting up there closer to 18. 18 minutes of this but trying to see exactly what they're going to show you here I think like on all these things on the Bronco the regular Bronco they give you option of a plastic or a steel bumper is what it looked like but you know the lights are cool the halogens the LEDs and the hatchbacks they come in handy but you know yeah this is a uh, more of a civilized Bronco what the sport is and, you know, it fits a lot of lifestyles, and it's got all the cool stuff inside. 
so it's a comfortable ride but yeah yeah I can just see who this is targeted at you know that's uh that's what they do they're pretty soon all these off-road vehicles will have very similar packages and Bronco's doing that with removable doors with a disconnecting front sway bar you know front and rear lockers all those things you know they're 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 copying the competition and that's what it is you know when you come out later if you're going to compete there's those straps on the seats where you can do stuff with but you gotta you gotta compete there's a zipper on the back of the seat so you can store more stuff up and zip it up that is cool but uh yeah oh yeah I stick your gloves under the seat always add those all these extra things yeah look at that I can hang my suit up just in case I wanted to get fancy but uh yeah it uh I like I like it I like these mats in there they look really cool and that's what you want if you're gonna throw the dogs in the back or whatever you're doing you know you want to be something you can clean out because this is an off-road vehicle it's made to go out and play in the wilderness and have a good time but that's what we're seeing here you got the embossed bronco pony the bronco in the seats that bronco is everywhere but uh they didn't go to knobs they went to a shifter but they use knobs for your all your rock crawl all your modes on all the vehicles from the bronco family pretty cool but anyway and what's coming up next is uh, the design engineer and i know he's got a little bit of an accent that seems to be the trend in detroit everybody's coming from england but anyway i guess he's uh, the newest one who has been designing on this maybe it's been his whole project since the start he was in a video uh that i did like last week where he was interviewed and he told the whole story but uh you watch what he's drawing here it reminds me of chip foos that's what he does he freehands all this that is so good so awesome to watch somebody who can freehand art get the line straight and do all that fun stuff but he's the guy that brought it back to life as far as you know what the new design is and uh, even one of the, the sculptors that did the clay sculptors it was her granddad that i think he was in a video last week that we did that we showed and his granddaughter took over with his tools and she's on the design team too doing some of that clay sculpturing and that's just gets good you have history you have all that in a vehicle especially one you know that's you know ford's really big on that on having the hist historical thing where it connects to what it was like in the last model and i think that's a good way to do it because then people remember that and it'll bring something to your mind but now we're going to watch the timeline and this is cool it shows back in world war ii when they made jeeps you know these guys and the other guys all made jeeps for the military shows on here how many thousands of them they made before made a bunch and there's that first one back in 66 and then when it won the baja which it did again and then a full-size bronco and i've had a bronco too and you know they changed a few of the styles on it but that's a good looking one there i love that pickup that year and there's how this new one started and there's the last baja winner and the family going off in the sunset but yeah yeah it's going to be a big one going to have to go drive one of these if you have a short bed truck you know it's not easy to hook up to a gooseneck pop-up came out with these extensions from nine inches to 16 inches to keep you from breaking out your back window when you're pulling a gooseneck trailer and everybody uses a short bed. That's the most proper truck there is, is a crew cab short bed. So, check that window.